Good morning, and welcome to Stellaris. We're going to be, um, for, for those of you watching uh, on Twitch, we're going to be restarting. For those of you watching on YouTube, later, in segments, because this is going to be cut up in 30 minute pieces. I hope you will enjoy. I truly hope you will enjoy. Because this is going to be Stargate, uh, Stargate Universe Reborn. Um... Uh, it's not perfect, by definition it's not perfect, but it is fun to play. Uh, we've decided to play as the Gaul, so let's get into a new game. Uh, because there's one thing you need to do if you want to have your empires, or all of the empires, and also my dog is out, one is just jumping on my chair right now. Go down, go down, thank you. Um, if you want to play against the empires that are part of the series, there's one thing you need to do, because the developers, they um, they felt they wanted to give you the free hand. Like, play as one of these empires. Or, yeah, just, you, well, okay, that's, that's, what you need to do in order to get them is just go here, click edit, click save, hit yes, go back. We've done that with all of them. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 empires. 13 empires that are part of the the galaxy of uh, Stargate. <laughs> Even though the replicators, man, they, they, they do seem cool. What I find a bit sad is that they have the, the, reg the regular ships. Uh, some of them have some really interesting designs, like the Lucians are just using, this is the construction ship of the Gaul. They use the liberated Gaul ships. And we have the Azra. That's interesting, I like that. Um, the Raf has their own ship design as well, that's cool. Ooh, interesting design, I love how they look. Let's see, what else? We got the Tauri have a different design. And is some of them, actually the Asgardians, I'm actually quite okay with them using this one. I'll be honest with them, I'm quite okay with them using this. Because the Asgardian, I believe, they were ahead of their time. Now, they have the, uh, the ancient empire of Atlantis. I believe this is Atlantis. Yeah, I, I didn't watch Stargate Atlantis uh, for that long. Uh, the only thing that I know that I completely watched was the um, SG-1 Stargate team. I really enjoyed that. And we have the Void Seekers here. I don't know if this is how they look. Um, because I know that I used this uh, this third of this, uh, this character as a um, as an empire, the Blood Court. Now, for this series, we uh, I'm going to be turning this one off because we will be playing as the Gaul. And I don't want to have two Gaul species in mind. I would you I will be using this one. Now we know we have 12 empires. So we'll select this and we'll bring this down to 12. We'll play in a large star. Usually I'll play in a huge star. And I'm actually thinking maybe maybe now large is fine. It gives us some room for expansion. Um we could be annihilated. We're not going to do advanced starts. We're not going to do fallen empires. We're not going to do marauders. We are just solely here for the Stargate door and whatever comes with it. What else do we want? A randomized crisis. I think we might become the crisis. I think we might become. Um, Grand Admiral, scaling is on. And the rest is, is, is about the same. Uh, we're not going to be doing Iron Man mode because, well, we, we won't be getting achievements. I uh, I treat my Stellaris as I treat my Mountain Blade. I play it for the mods. So, let's hit play. Let me readjust my mic a tiny bit. I should mute. Actually, I, I need a new boom arm. <laughs> oh, wow, I like that. So, there's also Stargates like that. Oh, cool. So, the Gould Tower. Um, in the eons, since the first... Primitive Gaul communities took shape amid the great dune seas of Abydus. Our civilization has spread and prospered. The early chaotic periods in our history uh, say uh, saw many nation uh, states vying with each other, just warring with each other for power, until we, 
at last the united uh, at last are united under a sh the strongest of these well whatever i you know i can't do english that well <laughs> I can speak it. I can't read it for the life of me. I've been I'm practicing, I'm practicing, so there might be hope for me. We have the ruler here, Ra. Uh don't really see his traits yet, but looks like he is an industrialist and explorer. So we will begin. Let's take a look at where they dropped us in. Last time I've played, I played on four arms and it dropped me like out of the in the outer rim. I kinda am okay with the location. We're in Currently, although it seems there is one, two, and I'm thinking this goes all the way over there to three areas. Now, once again, for you for you guys watching this on, on YouTube, we're going to be taking it a bit slower. Because I usually rush through my games and I don't like that. Also, Stellaris isn't the best game to stream on Twitch, so if you want to make... It better for me just hop on over to twitch join me and perhaps we'll um will i ever be able to communicate to each other which would be great we could downgrade our ships i don't think i will this a scientist will be heading over we have another planet over here desert world 10 it's uh it would be a good mining planet but yeah that's about it oof we don't know this one. So you are going to be heading over here, survey that. And I want to make sure that I'm thinking this is connected. I don't know why. I think it is connected. So I want you to survey over here. And then we'll see some more over in this angle. I'm most curious about this angle. It, it's so dark to us. And even though this is locked interesting we'll do those three and we'll definitely have to construct ourselves a another space a science ship i'm thinking about doing two of them one to assist me in my research because that is horrible and the other one just to go off and explore into this direction because i want to see where this leads to and i'm, I'm diff this is definitely connected and then it will go into this point there could be a relic world in here for all we know so definitely something we want to go to. So let's take a look. Can we get ourselves a science ship already? It looks like it, yes. Now we don't make a lot of consumer goods and that is because of our policies. We are militaristic focus. <sighs> I'm not sure if I want that. Because, it, yeah, okay, it's fine. It's Actually, we can offset that by selling minerals. There, there's no problem here. I would like to get the, the energy and the minerals. We can also go with the research, which is fine. Now, for the gold planets, you can colonize using two different ships. Uh, you can use the enslaved Jeffa, or you can use the gold. Personally... I would definitely say only use the goal because then you can start uh, building them as well. I, I've had some game where I used the enslaved Jeffa and they were just not able to create goal. I know you will get a breeding facility and the goal do require uh, specialist jobs. Uh, but that is not a problem because you will always get some specialist jobs uh, because I believe the breeding facility is a specialist job i'm not sure where it is in here it's probably offset on the ruler job that's what i think well you can't really tell now can you no well it's fine we just want to make sure that we have a um a good amount also the colonization ships uh, aren't that expensive so that is uh, definitely cool i turned off I turned on all notifications again, and I was complaining in other series that I didn't get any pop-ups from my society management anymore. The reason is, I turned it off, so I'm an idiot. But, then again, we knew this. What kind of scientists do we have? We have Voidcraft, we have a Manacle, we have Uselessness. And there is not a whole bunch that I would say that are more interesting. The Manacle is semi-nice. Because they will just give you 7% on everything. And if there is Voidcraft in here, which there is, you could build that and it will go to approximately 17%. But 
Would be a horrible start if you did. I would say minerals. Oh, wow. Deviancy. Yeah, maybe. It's an empire modifier. We might go. Slaves being the ghouls are gods. So they are rarely uh, ever rebelled against them. This is maybe interesting the food is great as well don't don't get me wrong but I'm, I'm thinking i don't need rebellions you will have rebellions trust me oh yes you will have rebellions the power units of the ships are amazing and we'll go over the ships um soon let's go with the anomaly discovery chance because well we got we are quite early early game uh, whenever we get a new ship we will uh, take a look at it and currently we have this uh, corvette who is Amazing. If you watch on you, it, it, look at that. There's, there's the guns. Amazing. I know it won't shoot from that, but still. These weapons, it's a medium to smalls. Personally, I'm thinking we'll go with four smalls. There is not going to be medium ships for the next 10, 15 years. So we'll definitely go with some smalls. They have better accuracy and tracking. Actually, is that true? Yes, the tracking is 65 versus the 35. So I would say it, it's definitely good to do that. The more tracking, the easier it is to destroy these kind of ships. Also, this game plays around with hull points, armor points, and shield points. Um, I hoped that the icons would be different, but they aren't. It's fine. Well, um, let's turn off auto-generate designs and complete this one. It looks like we got one armor, one shield, and two hull. And it is true. I'm going to be placing the armor over there and the hull down here for now so I know what the hell is going on. Uh, I cannot pronounce this thing. We have the basic crew, we have combat computers, we have another combat computer. And we have the, uh, the generator from the gold as well. A hundred power and it is not that expensive at all look at that 75 for 9 and 11.25 for 100 that's ah, cool let's save this one and we have the defensive platform it looks so damn cool well I'll take a good look because I never build defensive platforms I know maybe I should maybe I shouldn't let me know what you think about that so the construction ship is going. Is there anything else we want to do? Well, um, I noticed that we have a bot, bot load of amenities over here. And I don't like that. We can boost our economy quite a bit by just building more of these and just getting rid of some of the amenity jobs. And slowly over time, we'll just increase that. So that is what we will do. First off, we will save for a scientist and the additional pop. But I want to make sure that we uh, we definitely boost our economy quite a bit. Okay, let's unpause. Finally unpausing after 13 minutes of me just talking my mouth. Oh my. Yeah, I, I know. You guys must be pissed. <laughs> well, you'll live. That's fine. Uh, do we want to stay on speed 2? There's people actually that I know that um, just play on speed 1. Can you imagine that? Playing on speed 1. So here's the industrial monthly minerals plus 10%. And ship sign cost. Oh cool. Anomaly uh, research speed plus 33. That is cool. We need to use that. It's actually not that bad. My air. Happiness plus 5. And monthly unity plus 10. I'm um, thinking in terms of tradition going we need like domination and suppression because we are dominators looking at the empire of the gold we have feudal societies so our subjects power uh, power relations penalty negative 50 percent so they get a penalty 50 percent so they need to be extremely strong to actually get rid of me and i like that idea i really like that idea let's get a what do we not have we don't have Computing, we don't have DAV. So we'll take you. Society, huh? That was my option. Uh, yeah, we took you. That's good. Let's take you over there. Let's get the scientist. Put you up there. And I'm going to say... I want you to survey this. I'm way too interested in what's going on over there. And then go to that area. 
and I'll take another one. And luckily we start with automatic surveying. At some point you will just let these ships go. Which is great. Now let's go to our planet and let us fr almost free that one pop. Two more months and then we can free this additional population. We need 400 I believe to build this. And we definitely need consumer goods. So that is the first building we'll get. Second building is going to be food. And minerals. Oh, there's so much I need to build. That there is a planet. It is a desert world of 14. It's not a relic world, which is a shame. Oh well. Oh well. Also, we don't need too many jobs in this. Because we will be transferring pops over to other colonies. Speaking of which, even though this is not the best, we will get started with another colony how much do we have now 500 we do want to make sure that we offset the power over here so let's get building on that okay so a small ship has been found on the surface of a planet the vessel is loaded with missiles fit for a capital ship it is it, and its only passenger is a crazed man who claims to be the ship's captain he says he is willing to fight for our glory if we repair a ship. Well, we will start preparation, but there is a bit of an issue with that. He requires 12,000 <laughs> engineering, and yeah, we don't have that. Simple as that. Yeah, this is definitely only connected over there. I will research everything. If we get a relic world... If we get it, I'm not saying we will get it, but if we get a relic world, I will not. Star system oh, that's nice. It's a small system. That's good. Uh, I will not uh, do the ideological job. And I also want you to go over there. Thinking over there. I want to see what's going on over there. I'm very curious about planets. Uh, choke points and planets. And unfortunately, we have one two and potentially three and we only have the capability of building three star bases in total first protocol now hmm. okay let's take a look we are militarist and we are authoritarian a single voice, a single throne, single state, solemn duty to the masses to obey those enlightened. Uh, I think... I believe that in our... In other edicts, in our policies, our first contact protocol is on aggressive. So I will definitely go with the aggressive. Initial border status. I'm going to be changing to closed. I don't need anyone in my territory right now. As for the diplomatic stance. I want to go to supremacist. Uh, at some point. We need the supremacy tradition finished in order to do so. Um, but the diplomatic weight from fleet... War exhaustion, naval capacity, and claim influence cost is quite nice. We won't be claiming as much, though. We won't be claiming as much because we um, we can dominate. We can definitely say to them, well, I want you to bend that knee. I'm not going to upgrade my ships. Apparently, we found some... F oh, yeah, of course, I got these small weapons. Yeah, it will actually harm my, um, my damage a tiny bit. So, let us take... Expansion first. We'll go for the additional population. As soon as we get it. 19 months. We might want to hold off with the colony ship until we get it. I'm not sure if um, if it triggers. Oh, this would be a very good food planet. Energy districts. Yeah, we, we, can, we can play around with this. I'm still hoping that we at some point... Will get... Uh, begin a mass extinction event for the agents. Okay, what's this? Our first stumbling step into the void beyond Abydos were not motivated solely by curiosity or a desire to conquer the unknown 
or a need, there's a lot of ores in here, or a need to leave our mark on the galaxy. The biosphere of Abyss is undergoing rapid changes in the past few centuries, and prominent scientists warned that Abyss may be facing with the beginning of a massive uh, extension event that cynical purge of life are we going to blow up? Mm. Similar fate, maybe avoid. Okay, maybe we can avoid dying. Situation log updated. Okay. Track all on map. Oh, you want me to travel at the entire entire damn globe? Well, I think it's important that we'll uh, we'll dedicate scientists to this. I think it is important for us. I think we uh, we don't need to die. This ship is almost done, so we'll queue up uh, one, two. I need three, three scientists in order to get this started. Hey, Evan Test, how are you doing, man? Welcome back. Hope you had a wonderful day. It is day there, right? You're from the uh, I believe from the states, right? Star system. Okay, charted. we'll take a look. Definitely good. Oh man, half past one. Damn. Damn, dude. Okay, let us start building over here. I know I should have done that first. And then we'll take... What do I prefer more? I'm thinking energy and agriculture. We cannot do this one yet. So how was your day, Evan? Is it Evan or... If, if, Oh, great. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, we are almost done with the industrial complex over here. Uh, we have enough, and I kind of want to make sure we get you and you done there as well. And we'll start tuning down on these uh, buildings. Yeah, definitely consumer goods is struggling quite a bit when you start, like, as the goal. Which is fine. Like I said, we're not going to be rushing things. I'm sorry. Um, I need to refine. I need to rekindle my love for Stellaris. And I need to find a different way of playing. And, and this is one of them. Let's see what kind of a scientist that we have. Let's go with, uh, I don't know, like the youngest, the particle guy. Now, the gold can be extremely old. So that is good news. Okay, you. I want you to... How do we get that? Looks like... There's no way yet. Okay, we'll have to discover a way then. Uh, we can just travel. And, and see what happens. We're not going to be exploring with this guy. You. Get you. You are going to be assisting the research on... Our capital, which is not prime. I made that mistake yesterday. It's over here. Assist the research. Uh, I want T... T... I... Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. I, I got coffee, actually. It's early morning over here. It's half past 7 a.m. Okay, so here we go. We got our population... Because we didn't do this one. We'll have to do that. Uh, when this is done, we can actually get started on that. I'm not going to be replacing. He, they will modify, They will actually move themselves, which is great. Here's the science ship. Let's get another leader. Okay, we've got two green. And we have... Let's get a uh, propulsion guy in here as well. And I want you to survey, because he's going over in that direction. I want you to go there, there, and then over here. Did I, was I building another one? I don't think so. No, I wasn't building another one. Uh, I do want to make sure that we'll get a few more ships in this. Like 10. I will research everything, because we get a... Negative 35. No, that's not true. Where's my um, explorer? Yeah, the, su the su su wow. Supreme System Lord Ra gives you a negative 33 
That's great. It's actually a positive 33. But uh, it, it's it's going down. It's going down. So I'm, I'm cool with that. The colonization ship is busy over there. Because I usually build them manually. I didn't do that this time. And there we go. We get the consumer goods. That means that this is now done. We are going to go to population. And it looks like... It's already from the clerical job. Great. Let me make sure that that will stay like that for now. No jobs remaining. And once the others are done, uh, we will definitely move on to the... We have a tomb world. Interesting. Is this closed? Oh, this is closed. Oh, that is... That is fantastic. It's... Uh, I'm very happy that I actually uh, went on exploration. Uh, we know we need to go through over these systems to get over to that positioning. I do want to make sure that we do this uh, event. And uh, we might uh, find some other... Other species. Ew. There is a Erit er, 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 world. I'm sorry, my pronunciation. It's um, I've been doing some courses uh, here in the Netherlands, and I have to speak a lot of Dutch, and it's difficult for me to transfer back to English. Sorry for that. Situation log updated. Okay, we got a situation log over here. One science ship present. We uh, we can do that. When they're done. I don't have to do these right now. This is my territory. I'm very happy that we actually have a closed system up there. Absolutely happy about that. So we'll go over there. Is there anything cool? There is a paradise world. A paradise. It sounds so damn good. And it's closed. I love this. Okay. Um, explore this system. Let's see if we can find a way over there. And I'm sure it's like... Like like this. Something like that. But we'll get a bit of a, um, a view of our direction. And what's going on with that. Now this gives us... A bit of a necessity to close these points off. And we can definitely grow in this area. We don't need to grow too big first off. I want to stay in my, where are you? My empire sprawl over here. Because it could be a damn nightmare if we didn't. Especially um, with, the, with the building of other planets. Until you reach the 10th population, it's going to be quite difficult to maintain order. And the reason is this planetary capital will give you an enforcer job. And also it gives you a lot of amenities. You don't need amenities on this planet actually. We could probably remove this building. That's, uh, that's an interesting notion actually. We could remove you. Three jobs. Two available jobs. Amenities is still going down here. So we're down to three. We could get rid of this. It would lose us a tiny bit of energy. And we can replace you with either civilian or we'll go with research. Both of them are interesting. Stronghold, not so much. Persecutive home. Nanites are bloody incredible. Could also go with admin center. Hmm. Let's transform you. No, actually we won't. Uh, the reason why we don't, and we'll tr flip you around, is because we actually want to make sure that we get rid of some of these entities. Uh, I, will ha I will keep them just as a filler, but I don't want some of these pops to transfer over. Currently we're growing in Slave Jeffa, and that's because we don't have specialist jobs. When we do, we'll, uh, we'll grow the gold. Let's go over here. We'll go with an additional population because that is quite frankly the, the best of that. There is an archaeological site, which is good. Yeah, we got a lot of things to explore into. I like that. I like that. How much... Uh, we're not having too much alloys, actually. We'll just wait. Get rid of that. System has been surveyed. Well, good for you. You're done as well. 
I need you to continue over here and there. I'm thinking you are going there. You are going there as well. You're going into that direction. Yeah, it's good. We'll have every part of our systems explored. And speaking of that, I'm going to be grabbing a quick, quick coffee. Complete. Quick coffee. Star system charted. Okay, okay, okay. I'm back. Okay, let's see. Did I miss any 